Hello and welcome to the channel of Absolute Quality and today we're doing Medley 45 for the How-To Crucible weapon reviews. So today, Medley 45, it's an auto rifle and um, it's a Suros. It's basically about it for the description of it. It's pretty simple. Now before I get into anything about this weapon, I need to tell you that I have removed perks from the list. Uh, perks no longer exists mainly due to the fact that weapon rolls are coming back and I want to be prepared for weapon rolls. So I'm going to probably make weapon roll videos so that I can find maybe the best weapon rolls for a certain weapon instead of adding it into the How To Crucible, like reviewing the weapon itself within the Crucible. So now we're going to kind of exclude perks a little bit just so that I can kind of get a feel for the weapon itself because the perks are going to be changing when the DLC drops and I don't want to, you know, have to worry about it then. I'd rather worry about it now. But let's get into it. So this weapon, I want to say before I talk about anything, is I did quite well with this weapon. I had a KD of a 1.91. Now, I want to kind of relay that into the fact that this weapon doesn't hit for a whole lot. It doesn't, this weapon doesn't feel like I'm powerful, like 100%. I don't feel like I am a god in the Crucible. I don't feel like I can take every single gunfight, but I did and I used my team. So with this weapon, I was kind of trailing around my team because as I did the first match, I kind of realized that maybe this weapon isn't very strong. Maybe the, it just, it doesn't hit for a whole lot and it just feels not like it's great but it also doesn't feel bad at the same time it's really hard to explain but I was kinda you know using it and I was sticking to my teammates a lot and keeping with them most of the time and I have to be honest it's an excellent team shot weapon it, it, it slings out damage but it doesn't quite do enough where 1v1s are quite viable I mean I did 1v1s and I, I did win 1v1s but using this weapon against people with my teammates and team shotting them basically it was actually quite easy and fun so it made the experience pretty enjoyable this weapon really wasn't annoying or slow or just it just felt all right i mean team shot it was perfect it's really really hard to explain this weapon because honestly i don't think it's massively powerful but then again i did really well so let's go ahead and look at these stats here so for impact it's very low like i said it's just it doesn't hit for a whole lot it really doesn't but it does do damage, which is it's really confusing statement, and I'm really sorry about this, but you, you're going to have to use this weapon. I, I honestly, I'm kind of lost at this point. I did really well, but I just don't think it's that great. I, I honestly don't know. Range stat is all right. It does a decent amount of range. It's, it doesn't have a super big drop off. It's an auto rifle, so it does have that certain drop off after a certain point, but it's got the drop off nonetheless. I really never really noticed it. Because I was always team shotting with my team. Then we look at stability and handling. Stability is, again, how you control the weapon, the recoil of the weapon. It's actually alright. It's not too bad. I, I was able to keep the gun down. It was, really wasn't uh, an issue like maybe some hand cannons are. It was quite straight. Shot quite straight. And then handling is uh, also about halfway. It moves around quickly. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like I'm lugging around something. So, I mean, that's what you have to look for if you're going to use this weapon. I'm not lugging it around. It, it felt pretty fluid running around with it. Reload speed's about halfway. Pretty good. Pretty average. Not, nothing spectacular. Nothing, you know, slow or anything. Just average. And then it does 600 rounds per minute. And then it has a 45 round magazine. So it does shoot quite fast and it does lay out a lot of bullets. And it has a lot of bullets in the magazine. So it does, it does have kind of that extra oof for it I should say I don't know but it's it just I don't know man I don't know I don't know all right so let's go ahead and start rating this thing so let's go ahead and look at long range so for long range I am going to give it a seven mainly because my team shots were so good I, I just I really worked around with my team and I don't really think I don't really do that like a super huge amount of the time I mean I'll do it but I won't just run around with them most of the time, and I don't honestly play with other people, because if I played with other people, it would give me an unfair advantage of being able to uh, call out people across the map, and then therefore making the game itself easier if I'm playing with a squad. But playing by myself, I usually stick to my teammates sometimes, especially if we're getting bodied, you know? 
But if we're not really getting bodied, I kind of, you know, troll on my own, maybe help one guy out and finish off kills. But this time, I really stuck with everyone else, and it kind of helped a lot with long range and short range. So, long range, I'm going to give it a 7. It's not, you know, scout rifle material, it's not pulse rifle material, but it is good enough to do a bit of damage from a little ways away. And then for short range, I'm only going to give it a 7.5. I don't think it's godlike, again, like a submachine gun or a really fast shooting auto rifle. I mean... I mean, this is honestly one of the fastest auto rifles that shoots, but if any submachine gun sidearm that shoots any faster than this, it's probably going to melt you. Even like Antiope D. Antiope D only shoots, I think, this speed. 600? I think it's 600 rounds per minute for Antiope D. And that, that gun would absolutely shred you. Like, there's no way you're winning that gun fight. It, it's a good gun, but I just don't really quite think it's the best gun that you could possibly have for any of the ranges. So, let's go ahead and look at effectiveness. So, we have to do a little bit of math. So, I took all my kills and assists and I added those up. I want to say right now, I had probably way more assists than I did have full kills. Just saying. But my kills and assists were 288 and my deaths were 151. And if you add those up, you get a total of 431. 439, excuse me. Then, let's pop up our equation on the top. Let's take our kills and assists for K for 288. We're going to divide that by the 439 that I was able to achieve. And then we're going to multiply that 100. And then we are going to get a score of a 6.6 for effectiveness. So, now we have the three numbers that we need. Uh, it would be four with perks, but we got rid of that. Add those numbers up. And then we're going to divide by 3 instead. I still need to make that equation there. That's it's not there for this video, sorry. And that calculation comes out to be a 7. So now we have the four numbers we need to rank this thing in its final number. So we're going to go ahead and add them up. And we get a score of a 28.1. Now this score is good, but it's different. I'm going to have to, you know explain it just a little bit later because the ranking system's a little bit different but let's go ahead and rank this weapon first of all so if you don't know how i rank the weapons i take the final score that i got so the 28.1 and then i take that number against all of the auto rifles in this case i take it against all its category weapon and then i take it against every single weapon that i've done so sidearms pulse rifles scouts you know i take it against everything so for auto rifles this weapon is coming in at sixth there are some obviously better entries in the list i mean your euro's gift your origin story obviously there's some better entries in the auto rifle list it's got to be a really good auto rifle to take over those spots and then for the entirety of destiny 2 this weapon is coming out at 21st so not able to get into the top 20 but just out of it and so it is an all right weapon so should you use the weapon i you know you can try it out i don't think it's something that you can you should trade out for your top of the line auto rifles if you're using auto rifles i myself am an auto rifle person i very much do enjoy automatic weapons that aren't very limited in range really so i mean i could use this weapon from quite a distance away I do enjoy those types of weapons, and that's basically my, my playstyle. I'm quite good at that playstyle, and that's a lot of how I even play the games with other weapons. I kind of use that tactic of using an auto rifle, and I do well with that type of weapon. So any auto rifle that you put in my hands, I'm going to do quite well with, just because I am attuned to that playstyle, I guess you could say. But if you're not really attuned to the auto rifle or you're not really a fan of the auto rifle or you're a big fan of pulse rifles and scouts, I would go ahead and maybe use those instead of this one. It's just not that exciting to use, really. It's kind of just your, your run-of-the-mill auto rifle. It doesn't do a whole lot of uniqueness. It's just, it's there and it does damage. So it's your, it's your rock. It's your rock. That's what you could say. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button and I'll see you later.